Kia ora guys, welcome to the Kava Root Hale. It's my turn for the Jersey Tales. Come in and follow me. Yeah, so this is my uh, my 100 games for the Chiefs. It's actually a one-off jersey that, that got made from my, my good friend Dave Burke. Um, I come from Rotorua, grew up a, a bay boy, uh, but obviously a Waikato man through and through now, but uh, I always wanted to be a Chief when I was, was younger. Came from the Sevens and took a lot of convincing to convince people that I was more than just the Sevens player and um, this is a team um, that made me, you know, get to express myself in, in the 15s game. It's a team that's uh, real close to my heart, runs through my veins, it's in my DNA. You know, once Dave Rennie really sort of came in 2012, he really um, got a deeper, deeper connection to, to the, the area of where we came from and also um, of our logo and of, of our people. So, um, yeah, it's, it's an awesome team to be a part of. It's something I'm always going to cherish for the rest of my life is that I got to, to be, become a chief. Yeah, it's a very special jersey, um, the New Zealand Māori jersey. Uh, it's a 100 year anniversary. Uh, we played the New Zealand Barbarians, the Irish and the English um, for that year. Um, a lot of history, a lot of mana um, in this jersey and what's gone before us. It's a great honour to be able to lead the, the New Zealand Māori um, in, in battle and, and especially for a year like this, just with the history behind the jersey and, and what it means to, to our people um, and, to, and to the boys. How different do you feel playing for that team as opposed to the All Blacks? When you actually come into the New Zealand Māori, um, rugby's the last thing on the list. It's about connection, about who you are, um, about who we are as people. Um, and a lot of boys don't grow up in, in the, that Māori them or uh, grow up in Māori family. So teaching the boys waiata, where they come from, the haka, um, even to the good old Māori food, you know, the hangis, the boil-ups. Doesn't happen now because they've turned it to a high performance team, but when I first started, um, it was awesome team to be a part of because you're just coming off a, a real intense Super Rugby campaign. You just come into the Māori team and you just dumped it. Like there's no pressure to play. You just, training's literally is like, you get to training, you play touch for an hour. Um, the coach at the time, whoever it may be, said to one of the leaders, the older boys, sort out the line outs, sort out what you guys want to do for the game. And then, um, that's pretty much what you see on the field too, the boys just going out there and people call it the Māori flair and it's just the boys um, throwing the ball around and having fun and doing what they're born to do. Pinched by Aaron Smith and off goes Stephen Brett for the Māori. Looking to link up, he gets it away to Liam Messam. Can he get there? Skidding over. Oh, there's a sevens one here. we got a uh, Rugby World Cup. That's pretty skinny, that's pretty small. I must have been about 90 kgs back then. Don't even think I could fit that now. I won two Commonwealth Games gold medals with the New Zealand Sevens, um, Melbourne and Delhi. But the jersey I do want to show you is, it is a Sevens one. I actually didn't get to play in it. Um, it was Gordon Titchen's dream team. Um, this is the jersey here. Uh, and the reason why this is so special to me because there's absolutely legends of the game on this jersey. And to see my name just doesn't seem feel right. I don't, you know, I don't feel like I deserve to have my name uh, among these legends of the of the game. Guys like Eric Rush, Dallas Seymour, the big fella Jonah, Cully, um, Amasia Valance, and uh, I don't know how Lady KT got on here either, but he's on here. Um, but yeah, this is this is one of the jerseys that um, that's special to me just because of the the players that are on on this this jersey. Yeah, this is my debut jersey. Um, 2008 Edinburgh against Scotland. Uh, yeah, just all that hard work that's um, gone through the years to finally get the, the black jersey and the silver fern. Uh, it was a pretty proud moment, not just for myself, but my family. Um, a good chunk of my family came up to uh, Scotland for the game too, so it was a pretty, pretty special moment for, for me and my family to be able to put on the, the fam famous black jersey. Quick hands, Sabia, here's four. David back inside, Messam again! Liam Messam! I've been in and out of the All Blacks uh, all my career. Um, I, think, I think I might have played eight games from 2008 to 2012 and then um, worked my butt off to, to get back into the, the jersey and stay there for a little bit longer and hopefully uh, left an a impact or a positive influence on, on that black jersey. And um, yeah, it's just for me, it's just the, you know, the perseverance and the resilience and you know, just to take the the good with the bad and just keep moving forward and um, for me it wasn't trying to trying to stay there or try and prove people wrong, it's just that I knew in myself that I, I deserved to be there and, and wanted to work hard every day to, to put on that black jersey all the time. 
That's my Jersey Tales. Thanks for letting me share it.